So we can get through pretty much the entire class just describing light with irradiance, like we talked about a minute ago, watts per meter squared, and maybe a little bit about power. But I want you to have all the information. There's actually many parameters used to characterize light in the real world, and I feel like I at least have to tell you that they exist, so you'll know they're there if you ever need them. You won't need them so much in this class. But the science is called radiometry, which is the measure of EM radiation. And more in a real world sense, and less in a field theory, theoretical physics sense. So to understand each of these, I actually need to get a little bit ahead of ourselves, and we need to think about a source of light, which um, could be a light bulb, like that. That is a horrible light bulb. And you know, in the light bulb, there's a filament glowing, and the light comes off the surface. And we're going to take the light from some small area of the surface. All right, so there's a little surface area on the bulb. The light is coming out. And we're going to collimate that with a lens. We will describe how that happens later. So then you have the light coming out parallel. In this region, it's kind of like a piece of a plane wave. Right? If you assume the amplitude is fairly constant, it's just moving straight ahead, kind of like a plane wave. And then you have another lens that will focus it. And we'll say that we make a little image of this circular patch on a screen uh, that's back here, like this. And it makes a little image of the circle. So we have the light source and the screen, and a lens, and a lens. Just imagine a simple optical experiment like that, OK? So there are several uh, uh, symbols or, or several parameters we use to characterize light. So one is radiant power. Radiant power. I'm also going to give you the proper uh, letter to describe each of these. And even they get used different ones all the time, you'll see in books. But phi E is the proper radiant power. Phi is for power. The little E means this is for radiometry. It means it's for um, for light. Uh, and it's in watts. All right. And we know what that is. That's the total amount of light in this entire beam. Right? Doesn't care about per unit area, per unit angle, whatever you want. It's the amount of joules per second in the beam. And the next one is the radiant exodance. And that is Me. And that is in watts per meter squared. But it's not the irradiance. It's the radiant exudance. The radiant exudance is for the watts per unit area leaving a surface. All right. So Me is for this side, because it's emitted off of a source. Okay. The other one is the irradiance. And that is Ee also in watts per meter squared. And you might say that's the same thing. Well, it is the same thing. But the irradiance is usually what we say when we're going onto a source. Right? So the exudance leaves, the irradiance arrives. But technically, mathematically, they are the same thing. They are the power per unit area. Next, there is the radiant intensity. I e in watts per stair radian. So if we think how many watts are coming out in this solid angle, right? This is I e. So normal angles you think of in a plane in two dimensions. Solid angle just means solid angle. Stair radians of solid angle. Um, and the final one is the radiance. Don't mix up the radiance and the irradiance. They are different. The radiance is Le. And it's basically a combination of the power per unit area and the power per unit solid angle. What it really means is the power per unit area of the source per unit solid angle. 
basically the brightness of the source. Okay. It's really good for a source to be able to collimate its light and have a small solid angle, but it's also really good for it to do it from a small area. So if you want to be able to focus the light really tight later, the thing that actually ends up mattering is the brightness. You need to have a small source sending out highly collimated light. That's why lasers are very, 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 very bright. Any non-laser source, you'll never get one as bright as a laser, because a laser, based on the way it works, that we'll talk about later, inherently creates a highly collimated source of light that inherently, therefore, has extremely high rating intensity and, therefore, extremely high brightness. These are the official letters you're supposed to use. Okay? In the old days, irradiance was called intensity, and you'll still see a lot of people use I for irradiance because it's confusing because that looks like the electric field. And we might even switch to I later. But technically, these are the world-accepted uh, values in radiometry.